So, I just thought my binder series was over. I realized there was a binder at work that I really wanted to share with you guys. This may be or may not be my last binder. We will definitely see. Hey you guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you are new here, welcome. We hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission. So in today's video, I will be sharing the binder that I use to keep everything organized for my channel, my blog, and basically my brand. Now, I know this is a, you know, YouTube-based binder, but I decided to share it because I felt it would be helpful in many different areas of life, not just for, you know, YouTube and keeping up with receipts and information for a YouTube channel or a blog. So this type of binder could be used for many different things. I mean, you could actually even use this as your receipts binder. If this is the way that you wanted to set up your receipts, I use an accordion file for my receipts. I'll put that in a card above if you've never seen my receipt organization. But when it comes to receipts for my brand, it all goes in this one binder. And I didn't include this in my binder series because actually I forgot I even had it because it usually stays at work because all of my receipt printing and all of that, I usually take care of that at work because it will pop into my head and I'm like, oh, I need to print that. So that is where this has been sitting, not with my other binders. So I wanted to share it with you guys because I'm hoping that it can help you in many areas of your life. So now we're gonna get an up close look at my binder and I'm going to walk you through it, including where I get the supplies and I will leave links in the description below. Some of them might be affiliate links, which means if you click a link and make a purchase, I make a small commission off the sale, but it does not affect the price for you at all. So just thank you if you decide to use my referral links. It's how I help grow this channel. So this is the binder that I've had since I started my YouTube channel and I did change the cover of it. So this binder should be no surprise to you guys, the binder itself. It is a better binder from Staples. And it is a, I think this is a one inch binder and it's the green color. If you've seen any of my binders, you know that is the only binder that I use in my house. If you've not seen any of my binder videos, I'll put that playlist above. I have gone over my emergency binder, my home binder, my taxes binder, medical binder, everything. So make sure you check that card above to check out all of my binder videos. So this is my last binder video that I think right now. So all this is on the front is scrapbook paper layered together and then I used my label maker to put the gold project yearly expenses. So when you open the binder up, this is what you see. Now let me zoom in a second. So let's talk about the tabs first. The tabs are actually dividers. These are Avery dividers that I got from Target. I will link anything that I can find in the description below. They are actually dividers, but they are pockets as well. So every one of them has a month on it. So January, February, all the way through to December. And I've made sure to layer them. And you guys, you will notice that I've got two of the same color. And that's because I think Target had the eight tab set and I needed 12. So I bought two sets and I used four of the 12. So I wanna say that I actually got those on clearance. So that is basically how it's divided out by month. Now, before we get to that, let me share what's in front here. So I've got three, four, four sheet protectors at the very beginning of this binder. The first one holds my basically Google information, 
uh, my pin code and everything like that because if you are on YouTube and you have an account you will know that YouTube and Google you have to have the Google account to set up the YouTube channel so all of that is linked together so all of that information is here so the next couple of sheet protectors basically holds the receipts for the items that I get charged every single month. So basically my subscriptions. So the first one here is Epidemic Sound. So there are three accounts that I have subscriptions to every single month. The first one is Epidemic Sound. And you guys, this is where I get all of my music for my videos. And if you are a content creator, I highly recommend signing up for this website. The reason why I was just choosing royalty free websites to get my music off of and then it got to where I kept having copyright claims on my music from random spots and this takes that away. So you pay a $15 a month subscription to use the music from that website. There are tons of different um, music selections and genres and everything. So highly recommend using Epidemic Sound for your music needs for your YouTube channel. So I'll put a link in the description below to that. Not affiliated with them, not getting paid if you click it and you sign up. Then the next two were on these pages here. So the first one is for TubeBuddy. So I pay $15.20 a month for TubeBuddy. Basically it is some background information for your YouTube channel. So it helps you with tags, it helps you with descriptions, it gives your tags, cards, end notes, all of that a grade and tells you how it's going to do on YouTube. So it has helped me tremendously with the back end of my channel, writing my descriptions, tagging my videos, doing in, in screens and cards and all of that. So it's definitely worth the $15.20 I pay a month. Then my Adobe. This is something I was not doing for the longest. And last, yeah, this fall, I decided to go ahead and purchase the Adobe Suites. So that is what I use Photoshop to edit all of my photos. All of my thumbnail pictures are from Photoshop now. So I pay $19.99 a month for that service. So everything, y'all, the 15 for the Epidemic Sound, the 15.20 for TubeBuddy, and the 19.99 for Adobe, all three very beneficial highly recommend if you are a content creator or if you want to become one very beneficial for me so the reason i have those sheets in the beginning is because i get charged for those every single month so i'm not going to make 12 copies of each one and put it behind each month so this is how i do the rest of this binder so i've got these little dividers january through december so they've got the pockets on the front so there's nothing between each one of these pockets if you see it's nothing but the pockets so each pocket holds receipts for that month so if I buy any type of plan or anything, if I have any, like I do a post office box, I will print that receipt and I will put it in the month that I had to pay that. So I will tell you as well, I do have a spreadsheet that I log everything in when I make purchases. So after I log it into my Excel document, I will slip the receipt inside of the pocket, the month pocket that it goes under. So when December hits, what I will do is I will go back through here, I will open up my Excel document, I will pull out all my receipts, and I will make sure that my Excel log and my receipts match. And then all of this goes together for my accountant who files all of our taxes. It makes it so much easier, you guys. When you have a binder, it's all organized out. All you have to do is pull, 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 print, put it together, and send it off. So I've done a really good job keeping up with this. Sometimes if I'm really busy, I do get a little bit behind, so I will have to go through and print receipts and update my Excel log. But mostly I do a pretty good job at keeping up with all of it. And y'all, this is a really simple process, but I just wanted to share it in case you were curious on how I keep up with all of my receipts and information for my YouTube channel and my brand. 
this may not be a video for you or you may not think this is a video for you maybe this is how you want to keep your household receipts maybe you want to keep them in a binder instead of a accordion file or instead of a storage box so i like the binder system also because i can just pick this binder up and go like i was keeping this at work and now that it's summer is right around the corner I'm bringing it home with me. It took zero effort to bring it from work to home. So you guys, it's pretty simple. Better binder from Staples. I've got the sheet protectors I got from Target just in the front that keeps my subscriptions in the front. So I always have those. Then I have the Avery dividers that have the receipts for each month in here. Once December hits, I will pull all receipts. I will make sure it matches my Excel document. I'll pull them all out, collect them, send them to my accountant, and then I will start this whole process over again for the new year. And you guys, that is how I have my branding binder set up. Even though this is for my YouTube channel and my blog, maybe you don't have those things, I'm hoping that this gives you some inspiration or some kind of motivation to use it in other areas of your home and your life because this binder can be used in the way I have it set up for many different areas, not just for YouTube and blogs. So I hope you give this video a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content and they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. And I almost forgot the common question. What would you like me to share in the organization area? Are there any more binders you want me to share? Are there other home projects you want me to share? You have no idea how many ideas I get from your comments and your suggestions. I cannot tell you how many times I've been like, why did I not think of that? So make sure if you have an idea, leave it in the comments below. I am open and welcoming to every and any idea. So I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys. Today, is, ugh, I got hair all in my face. Why is it getting in my mouth? Okay, today, now I can't even talk. The hair has distracted me. I'll just edit. Probably not that big of a deal. Go eat! Stop scratching at my leg.